Moxie Woxie. Yeah, I'm going to take that Mox Jet, and I'm going to take that Force of Will. I have had a Fast Bond deck. I've seen Fast Bond pop off a couple of times. It's not quite as good in a format where you get to play like a ton of Moxin, but it can still be good. Could take Solitude. It's hard to get like enough white spells in a deck. For solitude, but still a good card if you can swing it. Expressive iterations, fucking amazing. I like that it's a draw spell that gets around Narset and uh, Hull Breacher and Orcs and stuff. Brazen Borrower is fine. Mox Diamond's fine. Yeah, it's expressive diamond. Pretty straightforward. May take to fairy here. Be just guy. The top's kind of sexy. I think if you can land it to Fairy and just lock your opponent out of counters, then a lot of their top decks are going to be bad. So this is going to be huge. Yeah, I'll grab an Athari to Mox here. Both of our Moxes are horrifically off color currently. <laughs> well, that's fine. <laughs> this is an interesting pick because the Steam Vents and the Talisman are both really good in terms of fixing, but we have a One Ring here that we want. And there's a Skydiver here that we want. So we kind of have to make a judgment call. I think we would take the Steam Vents over the Talisman, so it's just like, is Steam Vents better than Skydiver? Is the question. Because I think I want this One Ring, hum. Give me something for Mana Drain Mana to do. Make the Force Will look better. Oh, you would take Vents over One Ring? Yeah. I think the One Ring, like, actually lets me do use my off color mana. Fuck it. Kick the can down the road as far as fixing is concerned. Yeah, Shield Root and Pacifistation are the, the two cards we're missing out on by being Jeskai here. But we can get a little bit of fixing. We can grab a Fairy, may maybe. You could take Palantir. I think I think Fairy's better. Ooh, into Tundra. I'm getting so rewarded for passing that fixing earlier. All right, now we have three Moxes. I think I'm just going to grab the Opal. I did Currency Converter. I did Hollowed Fountain. There's Miscalc and Fire Ice here, too. Fire Ice wasn't bad on my last run. I like how Currency Converter makes Discard look a lot worse. You've been treating Shieldred as power? Shieldred is power. I'm not black right now, Heliar. Is the issue with taking Shieldred at this point. I don't want to be a four-color deck. It shouldn't be confusing <laughs> with this start that I have here. It's like a very... Specific thing I'm going for, right? Hey, there we go. Splash for... It's a difficult splash, right? Not like orcs. Yeah, if you take Shielded there, then you're going to have to like invest however, however many picks into fixing, which is going to be like super difficult. Because you're already three colors here, and you're already investing in fixing, like, like Tundra and Plateau, and you only get so many picks, right? In the 36-card format. Really hard to splash a double black card. And then you're also, like, reducing your Force of Will. Like, we want to be base blue. Speaking of which, I think I'm going to take this Memory Lapse over these other options. Hell yeah. Grab a counter spell, get another hard counter here. I know I already had the Jet and the Diamond. That doesn't make it easy to splash a double black card. Um, you're going to have to run more uh, black fixers than that, right? For a double black card in your deck? More than just those two? <laughs> so you're, my point stands that you would be investing more picks in the future <laughs> towards playing that shield grid, which I didn't want to do. Still don't want to do. I feel like I've already discussed it and I'm done discussing it on this point. How many times can we get Caleb to repeat himself? The game. Brain Freeze could be sick if we end up with Breach later. 
It could also just be a super dead card. Portal's good if you see Tinker later, but that's another spec pick, right? I could see taking Spellbinder. I actually don't hate the Spellbinder. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. Give this here recall. And then thinking between Mistress Bobble, Reprieve, Train Mage, and Prismatic Vista. Big Green, yeah, Big Green I think is is uh, pretty unplayable in this format. Red Black is good. And I've heard good things about Blue Red Aggro. But you definitely have to be base. Um, One of the core good colors. Red's got a lot to offer, and Black has a lot to offer. But it's definitely hard to say no to recall and time walk hum. And counters are so, so good when everyone has all that fast mana. Force of Will and Force Negation being two of the better cards. I like Thoughtseize and stuff are really good too. We could have been a really good black card, black deck this run. I saw Orcs shielded in Thoughtseize. Yeah, still thinking about Vista versus Tree Mage versus Reprieve here. I think I like Reprieve over Tringa Mage, even though Tringa Mage is another blue card for Force of Will. Just another remand effect. Oh, there's the Breach for the Brain Freeze. Nice. So now if we find either LED or Black Lotus, we'll have a really nice Breach win. I dig that. Do we want that Fire Islet? Another piece of fixing here. How are we doing on playables? We need... Like, five more? That's not bad at all. I think I can afford another piece of fixing. Hey, there's the Black Lotus. Perfectly. Love that. So I'm looking at Jace, Third Path, Manamorphose, and Fiery Confluence here. Maybe even Displacer Kitten, huh? We do have this Teferi to pop off with. And all the Moxin in the world. I think I'm supposed to Kitten... Just keep it combo. A lot of sick ones here. Lightning Bolt, Ragavan, Aether Spellbomb, Ponder, Gut. Probably not a bad Dig Through Time deck. I'm going to draft the Ragavan. Ragavan's pretty nutty in this format. There's just not that much removal. So it connects more often. I like that Lightning Bolt can be an instant speed answer to Orcs or a Hull Breacher. That said, I don't know if it's better than, like, Ponder for helping me put my combo together or Gut for just killing the opponent and being a solid backup win con. I think because we're creature light, it makes Gut a little bit worse. You're going to have fewer games where you play the Gut and you get to attack and immediately get your 4-4. Four four. So I'm going to take the Ragavan, and I think I'm taking Ponder. I think that's solid. Same pool, Brody Man, but different drafting rules. We're only getting a first and second pick out of each pack. You see, we're in its booster 15 out of 18. So we're only going to end up with 36 cards, but they're going to be very, very good cards. You can see by the stock of, stack of Moxon over here. And LED. I think a Mystical Tutor. Mystical Tutor seems gas here, right? Could find that Brain Freeze if we need it. I kind of take this Wheel of Fortune. Makes the LED look better. Makes the Black Lotus look better. Maybe I'll grab Swords to Plowshares. Removal is worse in this format, but it's still like the best removal spell. Broadside Bombardiers could also be sick. Pressure and removal. Fable's sick. Shorakai's sick. Enlightened Tutor can find Underworld Breach or Black Lotus. I think I like Tutor and then um, probably Deck Faden. Fractured Identity is expensive, but it is still quite good. Got a few cuts to make here. I think I'm going to take a quick bathroom break and go, um, go make myself some tea. And I'll be back in a couple minutes. I'll refill my water. All right, all right, all right. I've returned. 
Calm down, fives. Ten, ten speaking. Did everybody have a good commercial break? Oh, I didn't even run a commercial. Yeah. The perfect timing. Hell yeah. What do you do with all this? I think we keep all the tutors. And obviously keep the combo parts. Which means maybe Spellbinder's coming out. I wonder if I can actually cut the Mox Diamond. Hmm. It's kind of crazy talk, but what if I cut a Thari? It's kind of nice to have backup win cons sometimes. That one does murder very quickly. As opposed to like Skydiver or Fairy Mastermind beats, right? And something to mana drain into. But I do need two cuts here. Yeah, the fixing on diamond is nice. Also another artifact for Monk's Opal. We're gonna end up with like 12 lands here. Well, 17 minus 11, or minus six is 11. Yeah, maybe I can get the diamond. Low land count doesn't matter if you have like enough draw sevens, but we just have this one Wheel of Fortune. It's really cute with Currency Converter too, the Mox Diamond. Cut the wheel. I think you need the wheel. It's another card that makes like the LED good. Otherwise, Breach is the only card that works with LED here. You think Scott Ever's cuttable? I don't, I don't know if you ever cut this card in, in this format. Maybe we'll cut Converter. Converter is another like cheap artifact for Opal though, which I kind of like, and it is good against opposing discard. Right, Dridge Monty. It's just that it like can win by itself. Like the opponent plays like a graveyard hate piece, and we can't win with Breach, right? And we're losing life to the One Ring every turn. It might be nice to have a card that just like comes down and wins in a couple of attacks. Uh, everyone's gonna have at least a couple of creatures: the Herd of Meese, Hull Breacher, Orcs. That's why we really want Swords. Shielded, that sort of thing. Can we win with Teferi Kitten? Yeah, but the Teferi Kitten's like giving me like a lot of mana and a lot of cards, but it's not literally winning the game. I'm saying like if the Breach gets like exiled somehow, or if the Brain Freeze gets like removed, and I gotta win the game somehow, it might be nice to have a Thari here. And that holds true if I am winning with Displacer Kitten as well. Perhaps the Breach could spin early. Think about the Fairy Mastermind. This is like 10 blue sources. That's pretty good. This is like 7 white sources. Less good, but could be fine. And then 6 red. How many blue did I say again? 10. I think I want a 7th red source. With a ragavan here. 9 blue is less good for the counter spell and mana drain. But at least Black Lotus can double fix. And Ragavan's fixing, right? Yeah, so currently we're 977. Imagine if I tried to cram Shielded in here, huh? I definitely would have had to like cut one of the other colors. And I'd either like not be breaching or not be kittening. I'd like this hand a lot better on the play. On the draw, we get kind of rocked by a Thoughtseize or a Duress. On top of being rocked by a counter. I'm going to keep it anyway. Let's go. <laughs> well, we don't have enough lands for the Diamond. Cannot win. We only have 11 lands here. It's a little sketch. Looks like they're doing reanimation stuff. Pop 
possible I'm just supposed to keep up memory lapse on this turn, but I thought it was funny to take their black source. Good habit to get into is just casting your spells on your second main phase when you're playing with mana drain a lot. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, that game was fucked up, huh? This one looks like a mold meme. Even though we have like turn one remand here, just like the no blue mana. Could expressive here. I think I'm gonna wait until next turn. I'm gonna play my land off of it. Sure. One's got a lot of mana to work with. Not a lot of lands, but a lot of mana. I don't know if that was correct. Keeping the cat over the breach here. I'm also not even sure if it was correct to play the expressive, right? Because could have had two counters up instead of one. Oh, they're doing something. Nine mana? That's so much mana. No force of will protection. Just cast an Archon, just jamming. I respect it. I wonder if Wasteland and Strip Mine get good in this f format. Maybe less Wasteland, because there's like only so many duels. But it seems like everyone's mana sucks. Just play a bunch of Shatters and Strip Mine. Just a regular Mystical for Recall game. That's true. There are a lot of academies and sagas for Wasteland. That's valid. Yeah, maybe it's good. Oh, shit, what up? Hey, turn one, Tibalt. Thanks for the sob. Thanks for 52 months. Fire Confluence has been good for me, and I think Pest is, even though, like, Pest Infestation's been awkward. It's just, like, pretty mana intensive is the issue with it. In comparison to Fire Aim. I think I like E2 for Black Lotus here. Unless they play something I need to lapse. Bird. That is the difference with Supreme Vintage Cube. Everyone does have the nuts, yeah. You're just drafting a bunch of first picks. And so is everybody else. You need to look at 18 packs and take uh, two picks out of each. Can I think of anything that talks other than a person? 
Yeah, a parrot tends to talk, right? I really want to wheel, but I want to have the converter down first. I mean, it should just be activating converter instead of running out the skydiver. You got it, friend. I don't think I should have played my land before the wheel. Then the converter could make a treasure here. And I could go like Dax, steal your talisman. Kind of poor on my part, hum. Huh? Odds are the draw seven was going to find me a land drop anyway. Oh, shut up. Hey, Shnark Snacks. Thanks for 52 months. Uh, I think I two of the first round. Yeah. No, Carlos. The currency converter taps for a treasure, and then I play a land from my hand. A treasure can sack for any color mana. Whatever land I had played from my hand would let me tap for deck. So I would have had the same mana available, but plus one treasure from converter. Got him. Yeah, rough spot for them there, right? Because uh, if they let the deck resolve, we steal the talisman, and then we hit them for four, and the currency converter makes another 2 2. And then when the saga activates, it's only making a 2 2, so they'd be like trading with my stuff. They'd almost be just like losing to what I have on board, right? So I can understand why they countered the deck, even though we were repping that our last card was hers. This is hard, right? I think it's a mall, but I also think it's very hard. I do want to skydiver that Mox Pearl, but I want to do it when I can also hold up a counter, maybe. Suppose. Okay. Well, Burning Force of Will and Narset is pretty good. So we don't have Memory Lapse up here, which is a bummer, but at least we traded for some good cards there. If they do something fucked up here, we wouldn't have been able to lapse it anyway because they don't have Force Will. So, not the worst spot. This is the worst start for this deck so far. It hasn't really been a bad start, huh? Another Mox, we have the lapse up right now. Brutal. The Exalted Island. It's a pretty good case scenario for me.
Next turn, the converter can spit out a 2 2. And we won't have to worry about Ragavan quite as much. Yeah, I was a little bit worried about the Ragavan hitting one of my combo pieces. Bummer, huh? I will say the uh, Athari is looking a lot better. Now that the Brain Freeze got exiled. I was talking about Brain Freeze getting exiled and still need to be able to win the game. Y'all remember that? I remember that. I remember that combo. Breach would still be insane here, right? Hey. Real interesting that they didn't want to activate there. That's like totally fine, right? I guess I was supposed to swords before they got pumped one more time, but... Good turn to rip a land. Play time walking. Oh, they're considering running out shield breaker, maybe. Land, please. God, that's so dog shit. In this particular spot, <laughs> that's so bad. God damn it. Well, I guess it could draw me into breach. Um, I feel a lot better about it if we still have that LED. Yeah, maybe we'll just cast it. Fuck it. Hmm. Can't play this breach. Oh, the Teferi could bounce the Mox, but then I'd still be a mana short. Yeah, actually losing the LED ended up actually mattering. I didn't think it was going to, and then it super did. Oh, we can't get to Teferi mana anyway. We only have Emerald, Jet, Tundra. Maybe I was supposed to draw a Breach here instead of the Mox Jet. And then I could Mystical Tutor for a remaining counter. Do I even have a counter left? Force of Will. Hmm. Yeah, if there is another turn, right? I guess we can lead on to Fairy. And they kind of have to counter that one. Sure. So time lock beats us, bolt beats us, double counter beats us. We'll see if they have any of those. Nope, they got me. Damn. The old exaxes. Yeah, I wonder if there's a way to do that where I would have had red for breach. Who knows? I guess if I don't run out the LED.
you can run out max sapphire here and then get a brain freeze in and then if you rip a red source potential turn two kill with breach right but that running out the mox also opens out you up to opposing skydiver whereas right now if they play a mox i get to skydiver it and if they don't then i just play to fairy and that all seems pretty good to me sure Oh, is this a Lelia? God damn it. Into Time Walk? God damn it. Yeah, so I guess if I had Skydiver there instead of Teferi, that would have prevented this. They're not even clearing Teferi. Well? Could still get there. With a um, with a red source for this breach, um, like a black lotus here. Now they're clearing to fairy shame. Let's go, lotus. Let's go. Woo-woo! Swords is not bad. We've relieved some pressure, huh? They still have a very scary board. And all the cards in the world. Seems really likely we're about to lose our hand to this dinner set. Sure. All right, they can draw, geez. What are the odds that I live through their turn, huh? The, um... If they don't take Karn for Retrofitter, that's plus two artifacts. And then the Narset. Well, I guess we can hit the Narset down to one. Is this Brain Freeze without any Storm? I, I mean, I could put the Breach on the stack first and then Brain Freeze, so I'm hitting six cards. Then if you find either LED or Lotus, you get to win. I think that's my best shot here. Okay, but we can play Mox Emerald and Brain Freeze ourselves again. Leaving, I don't know, Teferi. Now all of a sudden milling 12 cards towards a two of. It's starting to seem reasonable, huh? There's a Black Lotus. There's a Black Lotus! Storm count is five. Six times three is already 18, right? Should we just freeze them? Oh, 
and now we uh, pass the turn, or uh, <laughs> is, there, is there a way for me to not win here? I can't think of anything. Ancestral them? Oh, that's an idea. <laughs> I don't think there's any outs right now anyway. There's a double white card that you could play at instant speed. I guess they could flash in an Eldrazi if they'd like very specifically flash and um and a shuffler. I don't think their deck plays that those cards though. Yeah, their guts their their deck's terrifying though. Mana Crypt, Gut, Lalium. Just like a lot of really fast pressure. Backed up with time walk and recall. Soul Ring. No forces. I don't think we've seen forces, right? Again, Ragavan. Scary match. Really, 420 Blaze it? I've seen very few actual Brain Freeze decks. Our mana's good here. I'm worried about my lack of fast mana. I'd like this better if we had a Swords too. I think there's a good chance my opponent's going to be like Dash of Anning turn one. I think that was the previous one, Silver Millzeem. Like, they had a Force in their last four cards, they would have played it, right? Oh, cool, I smoke PZP. Thanks for the... Congrats! Yeah, it's going to be nice to have a competitive event to prep for him. Oh, that's the name of the user, Quintoxic. <laughs> Y'all know that if I smoked PCP, I would not admit it on stream, right? Obviously, for obvious reasons. Then I'd have to share. I'm not an idiot. I do say no to drugs. That's been a a very consistent thing about my stream over the years. I've always said that if you're out in the wild and you meet some dangerous drugs, do not do them. Pack them up, ship them to me. I can safely um, get rid of them. I've been trained. Just a little service I provide for the community. Oh, the dash of Anne's not great. With the one ring protection. I feel like I can need tutor for breach here. Ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen. Awfully close to being dead. Only two damage from the one ring, right? So that's only uh, fourteen currently. Right, only did if I die here exactly. I think I gotta reprieve that. Otherwise, I won't be able to target them with uh, brain freeze. And if this fucking monkey hits my brain freeze off my deck, 
then I get to throw a fit. <laughs> I just get to rage. The most dangerous drug of all, life. Yeah, I heard life has a very low survival rate. Not recommended. Oh, yeah, deal. All right, one ring. I'm gonna need a little something something. That was indeed a little sum sum. Oh, she went up. Hey, Sandorian, thanks for the 40 months. He is already laying under the currency converter. I'm going to always know these. Yeah, let's cat, huh? Cool that we got to combo a bit here, huh? They have 29 cards. The game has ended. Nice. Nice little trophy. I think that was the first time I had like a combo deck. Had like a really clean combo deck that came together. Most of my other decks have been like, um, um, Aggro control decks. Oh, I guess the I guess the draw seven combos are technically combo, but that's like the base combo that everybody's doing, right? Where you want whole preachers, Narset, Shieldred, Orcs, and then um, and then you pair that with draw sevens that everybody wants anyway, because you have all these fast mana and also interact with the opponent's draw sevens. But this one was like we had several combos that like all kind of worked together and fit together in a nice compact shell. It's clean.